Hello. So just try to remember when we're talking about period versus frequency, period means how long is one cycle, and frequency means how many cycles, specifically from 0 to 2 pi. We even have formulas to help us out with this. The formula to find your period is going to be 2 pi over the frequency. Your formula to find your frequency is 2 pi over the period. Basically, if you have one, 2 pi divided by whatever you have is the other. Now, when it comes to periods and frequencies, we don't see the period in the equation. We only see the frequency in the equation. And the frequency is going to be attached to the x. <clears throat> So if they're asking for the period, first you need to find the frequency because you're given an equation, and the frequency is 6. That means your period is going to be 2 pi over your frequency, which is 2 pi over 6. Now, the thing that I like to say is if you know your frequency is 6, your period is not going to be anything close to it, because you have to do 2 by divided by it. So if your period is 6, don't choose the answer choice that says 6. Not good. You do have to simplify this. 2 divided by 6 is 1 third. Include the pi. You're going to get choice 2. Now automatically for the next one, if they're asking for the period, and if you can tell that your frequency is one third. Don't choose the option that says pi over three because when you do two pi divided by the frequency, it's going to mess things up and it's going to get rid of the three and change it. So two pi over one third. Now this you could actually do in your calculator if you chose to do it in your calculator. You're just not going to put the pi in the calculator. So you're going to do 2 divided by 1 third, and your calculator is going to give you 6. Because the calculator gives you 6, you should know your answer is 6 pi. If you didn't put pi in the calculator, you have to put pi in your answer. But in order to do this legitimately, 2 pi divided by 1 third. You guys remember how to divide fractions. You keep, change, flip. We keep the 2 pi change it to multiplication, and you flip it to 3 over 1. Oops, what happened? And from there, 2 times 3 is 6, pi. Now, for the next one, they're asking which one has an amplitude of 2 and a period of pi. Just keep in mind, the amplitude is always positive. Anyway, amplitude is found in front of the equation because it's a vertical stretch, so we need to multiply the entire equation. And that's not choice 2 because choice 2 has an amplitude of 1 half. However, to know which one has a period of pi, we have to convert it to a frequency. That way we can figure out what should go in the equation. So your frequency. It is 2 pi over your period. The problem tells us that our period is pi. So 2 pi divided by pi, your pi's cancel out, and you're left with 2. This one has an amplitude of 2 and a frequency of 2, which is going to be choice 1 because a frequency of 2 gives us a period of pi. Last one. Which equation represents a graph that has a period of 4 pi? Remember, if you see 4 in the question, you're not going to have 4 in the answer because all of these values are all frequencies. So you need to find the frequency, which is 2 pi over your period. So our period here is 4 pi. The pi's cancel out and 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. 
So that's going to give me a frequency of one half. So just keep in mind that frequencies come from the equations and periods mainly come from the graph. And you have to use the formulas to switch between the two.